Cocktails with T and the J's. I'm Turquoise. It's my mother, Janice, and my sister, Janice. And first and foremost, happy holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas. holidays. <laughs> um, today, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, um, today, our topics are 11 year old Devon Johnson of Oklahoma. He saved two people lives in the same day. Kim Powder, she was found guilty of manslaughter, a shopping, uh, sorry, a shooting at Burlington uh, Shopping Center in California takes the life of a 14-year-old girl, Megan Good and Devon Franklin's divorce, and much, much more. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, Devon Johnson, he is a 11-year-old African-American boy in... um, I think it's like Muscog, however you say it, Muscogee or Muscogee, Oklahoma. <laughs> and um, they were at lunch, and he noticed that one of his peers were choking off the bottle cap to a water bottle. Mm. He used his teeth to unscrew the cap and ended mm. up swallowing it. Mm. And uh, Devon noticed that he was choking and ran over them and gave him the Heimlich maneuver. Got it out. Yep, yep. And Save then, the boy, or was it a boy or a Yeah, a boy's boy. life. And then on his way home, he uh, there's an elderly woman who's also disabled trying to escape her burning house, and she, was, she wasn't moving at a fast pace, and so he went and assisted her and got her in her vehicle. And that was two lives he saved. And, and one day on December 9th, um, he received an honorary certificate from the um, sheriff station, and yeah, I just think that's so awesome. I, I it's think a it's a positive story. It it's definitely is. It's a beautiful is. story. Yeah. I love everything about this story, and just goes to show you. And that kindness goes a long way. If mm-hmm. you see somebody in trouble, you know you have the skills to help them. And this is a baby. This is a child. And you know what they say: the children will lead the way. Mm-hmm. The children are the future. Mm-hmm. The, This young man is doing great things. I'm so proud and happy for this young man. I wish if all all people could be like this young man. Mm -hmm. He's something to to aspire to. I just love this story so much. Congrats to that young man for being a decent human being, a caring, caring, a stand up citizen, a caring human being. We need more people like him in the world. We do from the mouth of babes. And uh, he he said that one of his his dream occupation would be to be a, a, a EMT. Oh, he already yeah. got a good start. And he already started yeah. off right. Yeah. And he, I think that's, that's the great. occupation for him. Yeah, I think that's great that he's so young and he possesses those skills. Yes. You know, because not most kids think, think about Is stuff Is one like of his that. parents in the medical field? field? That I'm not too sure. Somebody in his, his family in the medical field. That's just, just so cool that it he's is. doing that. It is. It is. Like it kind of reminded me of uh, what Vaya did the other day, and I said she she kind of reminded me of myself how we yes. chase after people. She could be in the medical try, field. Yeah, you know, oh, try to help in this house. <laughs> um, so yeah, that really made my day when I seen me that. Too. So me shout too. out um, to I think it's actually um, uh, if it's Devon or Devin Johnson. Sorry, I mispronounced your name, but keep up the great work, kid. Great job. Devin Johnson. Um, and then, so, I don't think I showed you this video. The So there was a uh, holiday party, and it was with the officers and, of course, like, their lieutenants. And, um, yeah, but this female officer decides to give her male, her married male lieutenant a lap dance. Mm. Let's go ahead and go to scene three. <laughs> No, first off, that's highly inappropriate. Um, secondly, I feel like they probably had something going on anyway outside of work. Probably was shitting on his wife already. I just couldn't. Even if they did have anything going on outside work, I just couldn't do that. Like, that's, highly your, that's your yeah. boss. You know, that's your lieutenant. Like, no. And then he married. Yeah. That's just Even if he wasn't way. married, I would be weirded out because that's my boss, you know? Like you said, they probably already in a relationship. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, romantic relationships are overrated. Mm, yeah, oh. they are. 
Yeah, I don't have anything else to say about that story, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was Plus disgusting. It. Yeah, it was yeah. completely inappropriate. Uh, that man should be ashamed. And I do think that they probably should, they both should be able to in their job. I mean, for the way yep. she was grinding on him. They both should be able to for losing their jobs. Um, and also, they, I mean, I don't know about them losing their jobs out I, because there was a party setting. Weren't they at like a bar or something like that? Mm-hmm. It was a company party or whatever. Well, but why, it was the only reason why I say setting. that is because you are basically seen as a public figure. Uh, I mean, your you're community. representing the company. Yeah. And that but, was highly inappropriate. Now it's turned into a whole new story. Like his wife looked out on reporters, cut reporters out over the, the situation. Oh, wow. I just think that it's highly inappropriate. And even well, if that not, was disrespect, disrespectful to his wife. Yeah. That was. But it just makes it look bad yeah it does or at least bad, it's been them it, it does look bad but at the same time that's what they do at company they're, parties they probably gonna end up but you're people. not supposed to though you're not supposed to fraternize with the, <laughs> the employees with the you employees. know what they're, they seem like and i probably should not be judging i don't like to judge people but they'll seem like they'll be the type to be like oh i thought that was my my uh what is it my um taser and really shoot somebody you know <laughs> how I feel about it. Uh, all right, so moving along, I want to, okay, so I'm not sure of the young, or the man's name that did the Facebook live. Ray J. Black okay. is what his name was. Ray J, there's so much I have to say about this. We so, talked about it last show. Mm-hmm. So he was the, the gentleman who, not a gentleman, the asshole who killed his pregnant mm. girl or ex-girlfriend. Narcissistic, and went. I hope he's burning in hell. Then went and um, Oops, killed sorry. his ex-wife. I don't think hell is even a place. Well, well, that's another story. But I'm saying that as a figure of speech. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm saying that as a figure of speech. I just hope that he's suffering to no end. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just no, hope I he's it. suffering to no end because... Do you have anything to say before? Because I'm going to go on a tangent about well, this Well, I don't think he well, could be suffering. Well, before I go into, I think he I go into he, a tangent. So he passed because he has to We should to go to the video the first. Let's go because... Well, it's a news report. Like, the, we saw the live of him talking. There is a news report about the wife, the ex-wife that he went and killed. And what she had been trying to do. Because everybody went on this... Uh, what was me about him felt so bad for him just going off of his word from him doing the Facebook live and saying how they feel sorry for this man mm-hmm. just from his words say oh they taking me to court they doing this and this and that and the facts of the matter is this is complete opposite he was terrorizing these women he was he looked terrorizing like he was because why would you kill them and yourself just kill yourself he, he, was, he was mad that so these women wouldn't let him reports. control them the ex-wife had filed a lot of police reports trying to get protection order play mm. the clip yeah play let's the go clip. ahead let's go, uh, ahead go play the clip. scene for go ahead scene for and confessing on facebook to killing his ex-girlfriend in baltimore before police say he turned the gun on his ex-wife and then himself hello everyone i'm vic carter and i'm denise coke welcome to wjz news at five and to those streaming on cbs and baltimore Well, this tragedy unfolded over the weekend, and we have learned that the ex-wife who died filed multiple protective orders in the past. She repeatedly said she feared the suspect would kill her. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live in South Baltimore with the follow-up for us. Mike? Vic, Denise, the live stream is truly disturbing to watch. This was the first crime scene. At the second crime scene, police say the suspect's children were nearby, but they did not witness their mother's homicide. I felt like a dream. Like, I never thought I would be that guy. By the time Rajay Black streamed on Facebook Live outside his ex-wife Wendy Black's apartment in Columbia, police say he'd already killed his ex-girlfriend Tara LeBang in South Baltimore. He said in the video LeBang was pregnant at the time he shot her. Black would be next. It's the holidays, man. I don't have no family, nothing. Anyway, I just did something crazy, man. He follows her inside. The video cuts off. Police say after he killed her, he killed himself. I don't have any information about a criminal history, but he certainly wasn't on our radar currently for any reason. WJZ scoured court records and obtained protective orders Wendy Black had filed against him the most recent last year. She wrote, he threatened to kill me with a gun. 
He has pushed, shoved, threatened, and bit me in the past. I am afraid of him and his anger and do not want him to know where I live. He has access to weapons. She also says he is suicidal. In another order, she says he told her, I'm coming for you. She wrote, I am terrified because I do not know what he's capable of. I do not feel that I am safe. I feel that my life is in danger. The protective orders were denied. It's just extremely sad to hear about what happened. Lou Pham lives just a few doors down from the first homicide. These kinds of horrific things being live streamed, and it's, it's, it just adds another layer of horror to the way these things uh, have happened. Now, the suspect and both victims were nurses. Wendy Black worked at Howard County General, according to friends. Tara LeBang worked at Ascension St. Agnes. A hospital spokesman told us we are devastated by this news. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Halgren, WJZ. All right. So, for the, it irritated me when I first seen that news clip because it was reported that he was not on their radar. Mm -hmm. And I'm like why you guys didn't take it seriously they the family can also sue that the police station yep because and I hope they do be, i mean and i'm saying that money is everything but it has to be some kind of consequences yeah, yeah it sure has to be some kind of consequences mm -hmm. because she's literally like begging hey he's suicidal which he proved to be on the live mm -hmm. everything she said kill. was right yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, so, even if you, like, take time to really investigate, it's, this is probably why so many women lose their lives, because when they yes, do come forward, and nobody believes done. them. Or, if the situation was turned around, and she would have killed him, to, they for were her, it would have been, yeah, it would have been mm -hmm. a whole different story. You know, you have a lot to I say. I have a lot. Ma, be, please, my first. Mm -hmm. What do you want? You have anything? <laughs> you don't have nothing to say about that? Okay, well, I have a lot to say about this because for the simple fact that the insoles, the black male, and I'm specifically calling out black males here, the black male insoles have been defending this so hard, this man. They have been de defending this man so hard. I got into it with one today. All of these reports have come out. This shit is on public record. Mm -hmm. If you look up this man's name, Ray J. Black, all of the court cases against him were mainly from domestic violence and trying to get court orders to protect themselves from him. Oh, from wow. multiple women. Yeah, not they, but he wasn't on their radar. But he wasn't on their sense. radar. That does not they make weren't sense. they weren't approving the They worry too much about the wrong thing. They, yeah, that's they do. what I'm saying. They worry too much about the wrong thing. And then look what happened. Yeah. And, and then people are saying, like, this dude. When I said this, I said this in a comment. What I'm saying right now, I said in a comment on Facebook. And I got three laughing reactions from three black men. Mm. And one of them responded to me, and this is what he says. The system, because uh, I said the system failed these women, mm -hmm. not, these, not this man. And he said the system that the ex-wife was manipulating, right? I said, how could she be manipulating it? He was said in the video, huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking to my... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like a, He said in the video, oh, this is a, a custody thing. It's the holidays and he ain't got no family. And they lying on the court to him. They trying to keep his kids from him. His kids was literally in the car with him. So how are they manipulating the system when he had his kids? The, all the women said in all these positions, petitions for protection, I don't want him to know where I live. Because he, he's crazy, he's threatening to kill me, mm -hmm. he's threatening to do this and this and that. She, and they're all saying, oh, she accused, falsely accused him of molestation. Go through the records. His daughter said that to a teacher. Had nothing to do with his ex-wife. She oh, said wow. nothing. She didn't say anything about him doing anything to his kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, the child uh, custody, because they're like, oh, women like to hold their kids from the fathers. He filed to get custody from her because he she wouldn't give him her address mm. he filed to get custody the, the the custody battle was filed by him and you can look it up on retro ray j black spell r-a-g-e-a-e-e -E -E, black 
You can look it up. It's on record. Anybody can find the records for it. And the fact that people are defending this man, the fact that people are laughing at me and calling me crazy for saying but what's on you, record. We was talking last night. I told you the world is really it's ignorant. Fucked up. It's yeah. weird. And it's the weird few as fuck. people that know better, they trying to make them feel like they insane. But it's y'all motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. It, it is. Not. This man was a narcissist that wanted to control multiple women. And when the women realized he was crazy, they wanted to get away. And somehow uh, he turned that into, oh, they victimized me and said the court system and all these Debbie daddies that don't fight for their kids somehow. Yeah, I feel you. This is how it is for all these women get to take advantage. The court systems failed these women. They literally tried to use the court system to protect them Mm -hmm. from him and they got murdered by him. They got murdered by him. And the thing I don't get, what do they mean that the system that she was manipulating. Sam, because because in the video he said that they were lying on him, molesting his kids. But he said that they were lying on him, molesting kids. If if you're accused of molesting your kids, why does the courts allow you to have them in your custody? Yeah, some people whoever you were debating with are ignorant. Because how does she? It's weird to me that people are defending this. Nothing was done to protect her. Nothing. Nothing. So nothing was done to protect. But you know what? It makes no sense. If anything, realize when you got you a nutty one that won't leave you alone, get you a gun. gun. Kill his ass first. But you know what's fucked up about it? Is like, like the, the whole argument. The burning bit. You, you, yeah, like the burning bit. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know what's fucked about it? But I, what I realized in this case is this woman didn't want to keep him from his kids. The woman that actually had the shit. Because the one he killed that was pregnant, she didn't even have a chance yeah, to have his kids. She killed yeah. him. Uh, her and the baby boy. She was pregnant with a boy. Mm. Uh, and her cousin posted a long post, uh, which I should have probably sent to you, but I didn't. But she posted a long post about how she, you know, re- saw signs of him being abusive and was like, I'm going to come. Because she was in California and she was like in a whole, in Baltimore or something like that. Mm-hmm. She was in a whole other state. But she was like, you can come live with us. We'll take care of you with a baby. She's, you know, before you give birth. And the man uh, who was on the live, who ended up murdering her, there was one case where she uh, was outside, uh, like pulled up to her apartment. He was at the window, like cursing her out, trying to get her to come out the car. And she called the police and the police came. And when she called the dispatch, the dispatch was like, I could hear him yelling at you. And uh, the police came and separated them. They didn't arrest him, but separated them and gave her a car and said, next time he comes bother you, let us know. But the next time he came and bothered her, he killed her. He killed her, yeah. Mm. And uh, people are like, oh, I don't know if I believe what the cousin is saying, but you automatically believe the man who said this on live. And then How does if he it make was sense? so righteous and so this and so that, he would have never killed himself. Exactly. Or the exactly. He would have went ahead and went through the court system. You want to know what yep. the most ironic thing about that live video is? on, And that made men feel sorry for him? He said... It's the holidays. I have no family. And well, I, he literally took his kids' family from them mm-hmm. during the holidays. Mm-hmm. Imagine what his kids like. He didn't give a fuck about them kids. Now, that to me is selfish. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this. If I hate you so much or you don't want to be with me and I'm so sad, blah, blah, blah. I would rather do something to myself than yeah. to go around yes. doing if something to If I'm not depressed... Else. If I'm not depressed, yeah. if I'm mm-hmm. not, but he was not depressed. This man was completely coherent. He drove across state lines, plotted to murder multiple people. This was not somebody that was taken advantage of by the system. Y'all sound ignorant as fuck saying that shit. Y'all sound so fucking ignorant because that's not the case with this man. Mm-hmm. And right. the fact that y'all are mm-hmm. pulling for any kind of a, and y'all yelling at accountability at women. But you know what, that's weird. where online, that is very, it's weird. very that's weird. where online goes wrong, kind of, because them fools that saying that, they have the nerves to say that bullshit knowing that shit wrong. Mm-hmm. A lot of people get online, bully people and shit. They know that shit wrong. Narcissism. And they hide behind it's narcissism. The, but they hide behind the internet. Because mm-hmm. yes. you can put anything yes. up there and say your name is anybody to bully. That's somebody. true. That is true. But why why do pe- people pick and choose who to believe? Like, it's so weird to me. And it, it always seems like with women, 
particularly black women, it's always don't believe her from jump. And with black men, it's always believe him Mm -hmm. from jump. It's so weird to me. Like the good example would be the case we're talking about now. This man literally murdered himself and two women, his kids, mothers. Mm -hmm. He literally murdered three people and people are like, oh, when people go through emotions, that shit is sad. That's, that's what happens. That's but when Megan Thee Stallion says, oh, I was shot in the foot, it's a joke. Mm-hmm. It's a joke. That shit is serious. Because what she if she was? She what if she was killed? That could have killed her. And then what wimpy ass man shoots you in your foot? Shoot you at all. Shoot a woman. That's it's weird to me. Weird the, 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 the things that people like have sympathy for and the things that people I don't sometimes I don't make believe fun that of. people weird. really have it's sympathy weird. for them people I think they just like to get on the internet and talk but and it's yeah. why that why do you want to go that route though people why do you want to go that route there you can't is, change them I highly believe in mental illness people need oh to my get God. People need free to your get, fucking minds I'm like going need to, crazy people need to get help <laughs> yeah like, they seek do help mentally and, um I, I do want to say we do not encourage suicide. We are highly never would it, it. never um, get help. Just saying, Seek a yeah. therapist. But we're just saying if you ever get to the point to where you feel like you want to harm oh. yourself and others, just do yourself. Speak, not, speaking of yes. which, speaking of which, in the case we're talking about in the video, the guy that did the live video, he filed a motion. Him too long, I just want to say this because of what you just said. Uh, what was granted was because like I said this woman did not want to take his kids from him mm-hmm. what was supposed to happen was he was supposed to go to therapy and he was supposed to also prove that he was working a steady job and, and you know, he, take it. Knew he, he refused he to turn either. into that information he refused to turn that information he, he in he didn't either why he refused to turn that information in to be around the kids. Mm-hmm. he refused to turn that information in if there are stipulations and they're not put into place What's Y'all can look of all of this up if you really want to know the situation about this man What's that killed. What's the point of it if you're not going to Who went live? Through. This man who went live, and the people defended him. Look up the cases. This man was fucking bonkers. And it's crazy to me that y'all are blaming these women that were murdered by this psychopath. Fuck his fucking emotions. I don't give a fuck about your emotions. Have some accountability for yourself. I would get emotional too, but I ain't never killed nobody. Mm -hmm. I've been depressed too, but I ain't never killed nobody. Ever. I I agree with that. Seek help. That's it. That's all I want to say about that because that was pissing me off. The excuses that's made. If y'all men are so fucking fragile and y'all got a nerve to call women emotional, if y'all men are so fucking fragile, step the fuck back, sit the fuck down, put a fucking pacifier in your mouth and sit the fuck down somewhere and shut the fuck up and let grown folks talk. If y'all got to be coddled that much, that don't make no fucking sense to me. For y'all don't want to be leaders and want to be, and y'all that fucking fragile makes no fucking sense to me. That you so fragile that somebody say the wrong thing to you, you want to kill somebody? Mm-hmm. Somebody do the wrong thing to you and you want to kill somebody? Somebody don't want to be in your life no more, you want to kill them because they don't want to be in your life no more? That is weird as fuck to me. Just accept it and Grow on. some fucking balls. It's terrible that the women in our community have more balls. That's terrible. And they call us masculine because where is the masculinity? Where is the masculinity? Somebody gotta be the man. Somebody gotta be the man. Somebody gotta be the man. Gotta be a dominant one. (laughs) Okay. Uh, so moving Sorry. along. No, I mean that's what our show is it's for. The, uh, but it's I'm for like that pisses me off. And give your that really pisses that story and the fact that people are defending him really pisses me off. Those who are defending him. They you can't, can't let serious. them, yeah, I wouldn't even let that, because you know what they, they But that tells serious. you the mindset of people in society. I don't want my son growing up with people with that mindset in society. It's the new I don't want my, I don't want my son it's to grow inevitable. up. It's inevitable. I don't yeah, want him to happen, deal yeah. with that. That's Because that is wrong. That's mm-hmm. wrong, period. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so, um, okay, so in Los Angeles, there was a 14 year old girl who was killed at a um, Burlington sh- Burlington shopping center. So what it is, and also the suspect was killed as well. He was. Mm-hmm. The I suspect he was lived. killed as well. Uh. Uh-uh. Um. So, I guess the cops were aiming to shoot the suspect. They end up also um hitting the young girl that was in the dressing room, and she ended up dying. My thing is. 
if you don't know who's around, don't start shooting. That is so weird. You need to check the surroundings. Like, there's, there, that's, and we say this all the time, there needs to be uh, adequate training. Because yeah. officers are just adequate too trigger happy. Yeah, uh, officers are just too trigger ha- mm-hmm. happy. Go around, like, you don't know who's around. Why would you just start, start shooting? Now you didn't took the 14-year-old girl off and all she was doing she, was trying oh, on some clothes. Oh, she's just changing. Could you, that is so, that breaks my heart, this story. This story breaks my heart because, and then it turns out the dude wasn't even armed. He didn't have no weapons. He was just fleeing from the cops. And to open fire, that was not that situation. No what matter what is, he was doing, they get was away with it too much. Detail. They get away with it too much. He though. was fleeing from them. Mm-hmm. Period. He but, was running from them. But I'm saying the police get away with shooting. They like to shoot first well, and ask questions. Uh-huh. The Dante later. Wright and the uh, Derek Chavanaugh. It seems to be a change of pace that is happening and it feels like people are like upset with it but it needs to happen and i feel like things are moving in the right direction that cops are figuring out that they're not going to get away with every little negligent thing that they do because this man who killed this 14 year old girl i can best believe he's going to jail yeah he's going to jail for negligence for manslaughter, just like Dante Wright's killer went, is Kim seen. Potter. Kim see, Potter. That, that manslaughter don't set well with mm-hmm. me. Because, it should be murder. Because it's not intentional. Murder is an intentional act where you. But he was intentional. When you. They yeah. always say bullet don't have no name. Yeah, that's so true. So they need to quit firing them goddamn bullets like, okay, I'm aiming at him. I'm and this, then this. Most of the. Like, honestly, think about it. What are guns used to do? Kill people. kill people. So if you're going to pull the trigger, then you, you must be aiming to shoot, to mm-hmm. kill. That's what I think. Not to injure, but to kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you don't know where you'll end up hitting somebody. Mm-hmm. And That's they true. just don't care. That's true. And again, like, check the surroundings. Like, why couldn't officer just... Why couldn't a few officers just get together and, and chase them? What was the point of shooting? And then even if they get away, they you'll find them the later. Dog out. Yeah. Dog will go find you and bite your butt. But what kills me about when people, when the cops do decide to shoot when somebody is fleeing, you can, even if they get away, you're going to find them eventually. They can't mm-hmm. get too far. They'll get caught because they'll they're going to always out. get caught. They could yeah, be pulled go, over yeah. on a traffic stop. Or other like, cops waiting know. on the other yeah, side. Yeah, you don't know. Why do you feel the need to shoot? Especially when it's, it's not a happening. life mm-hmm. danger situation. If somebody is running from you, your life is not in danger. Mm-hmm. If anything, they feel like they life in danger. They that's why they run it. That's <laughs> why they run it. You know, I don't get it. Again, adequate training. That's what needs to happen. But no, they're too busy giving lap dances Ooh. at bars instead, yep. instead of having the proper Highly training. Inappropriate. <laughs> so, uh, and the young lady's name was uh, Valentina, and I cannot pronounce the last name. Let me see it. It's like Peralta. I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just gonna call by her first name. May she rest in peace. Orellana Peralta. I said Peralta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm probably. It, it's and just, I'm also gonna say rest in peace to the the suspect. Poor young girl. He, that pisses me off. I feel my heart breaks for that young mm-hmm. girl because all she was doing was getting dressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and she, and she was a kid living her life. Probably had plans for her future that just for her life to be taken like that bothers Mm -hmm. me okay so now we're gonna move on to some relationships um megan good and her husband devon franklin uh he filed for divorce a few days ago they were married for nine years Mm -hmm. so it's been reported the reason for the divorce is due to um their work schedules and everybody spend a lot of time together I, i say that's bs because uh, most of the time, like they're together when he's preaching or having his <laughs> when he's when he's preaching, like she's always with them. Um, I don't know if it had to do with her new show Harlem, but that's just one little piece of a whole nine year relationship. Everything is speculation as far mm-hmm. as, but they made a joint statement and said that they discussed this for a while, that they mm-hmm. prayed about it together and that they have no animosity towards each other and that they still love each other very much, but they've come to the decision that they need to separate. Oh, wow. They made a joint statement and they do seem to care about each other mm-hmm. a lot. And I thought about it and it was like, cause people were like, 
which even I said that, you know, Megan Good hasn't really been in a lot of stuff mm-hmm. since she's been married. That's what I was and saying. Then, like, she's usually with him. Doing yeah, his... yeah, like, she hasn't really been in a lot of stuff since she's been married. She would do little projects here and there. Mm-hmm. But she's also kind of been very reserved. Her husband was a pastor, which is understandable. He has an image to obtain. So she's been kind of holding back, it seems like. Mm-hmm. Holding back, in a sense, you can say shrinking herself. Not being who she wants to be. Uh, it seemed like that, but, and then now she has this new show, Harlem, which me and you have been watching Mm -hmm. together, and it's a good show, but it does, it's risque, there's, uh, nudity, there's sex scenes, uh, she's had a couple sex scenes in it, and I remember we had the conversation like, "Ooh, I don't think they were that bad, though." No, and he defended her, and this is another thing why I say I think people should stop speculating is because when Harlem premiered, he was like, he was so proud of her, which means he saw all of that mm-hmm. before any of us got to see any of it. He knew what was happening in the show before any of us did, and he supported her completely and fully. So I wouldn't say that because of her wanting to be more open is why they broke up. It's just people grow apart sometimes. People grow apart sometimes. You can love somebody very much, but if you're not compatible anymore, why hold on to it? You can't force something that's not there. And I'm sure that they loved each other very much. And they were a beautiful couple. I really hate that they didn't work out because they were were a beautiful couple. But I'm sure they'll remain friends. Where I feel like they genuinely loved each other. I don't think anybody did anything wrong. I think that they just grew apart, like which happens sometimes. Like I explained to a friend one day, because in this relationship guru world, they think they kind of make everything cut and dry, like black and white. Like you have to do this to have a husband. You have to do that to have a wife. You have to do this. And I'm like, no, no, people have to be compatible. I can be. You can think I'm the greatest person in the world, and I can think you're the greatest person in the world. Doesn't mean we're supposed to be together because mm-hmm. we're not compatible. People don't understand that. I think they're both great people, and they're just not compatible. And they tried for nine years, and I wish them both the best. They seem like they're positive people. You don't. Mm-hmm. They, Megan Good is so unproblematic, and her husband is so unproblematic. I've only seen nothing but positivity from both of them in the media. Just let people live. Things happen, and I wish them both the best. I agree. Um, And then that makes me think about, too, like, is it not saying don't live your life, um, you know, take chances, but is marriage really necessary how you go through all this trouble mm-hmm. of spending money, planning a wedding, paying for the wedding, having a, and then later on down the line, you get divorced. You know how I feel. I just feel like maybe it's better off to just be. Don't do it. If you're gonna be in a relationship, <laughs> don't get married. Don't do it. I feel like I've seen I've never more been married, of it, but. but- <laughs> growing up, I've been around a lot of couples growing up because I was a babysitter. I was always babysitting kids. So I've seen a lot of relationships growing up. And I always noticed that most of these relationships were people that had been together for years. They weren't married, but they were together for years and they seemed genuinely happy with each other. Mm-hmm. And then when they finally crossed that line and get married, that's when they stopped liking each other. I was like, what is it about? The marriage title that makes people it's a, not it's like a, each it's other. It's literally a contract. It's like a, it, it's, it's the a fact contract. that they had a contract made them change. It seems mm-hmm. like, and I was like, I don't think it's necessarily necessary to get yeah. married. It's because when you sign a contract, and then people feel like by <laughs> law you got to do this and this and this yeah. and that, and people and that's what causes conflict. No, you can't tell me I got to do this and this and that. Mm-hmm. That's what causes a conflict. Mm-hmm. And then it's the whole, uh, what's mine? Well, mom is married. What do you mine? think? You had a marriage. You was with a man for many, many years. and Well, they got divorced. So probably better off. But they <laughs> were to get, weren't y'all together longer when y'all were not married than when y'all got married? That's why? what I'm saying. What's the point well, of yeah, That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I feel like the titles. I take, think, uh, take, I, takes I believe, a believe to me. Now, she's the only one who was married here to Cash. When you get married, you should it. only be with that person. Do or she shouldn't get married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I believe. You think about when you're not married, 
you're not you're okay with people doing whatever they want to do no i'm married? not okay with that either <laughs> but uh when you're married you shouldn't you definitely, definitely mean you're not supposed to be out with there different people i got gotcha. you yeah I, I definitely think that contract put a lot on it on does because it, it's like oh this this like i said mm -hmm. this means you can't do this and that now this means you have to change your name this means you have to do you mm -hmm. know like it, it i feel like marriage causes more of a conflict in relationships than it does a mm -hmm. benefit it's, it's always a, a, a battle like who like who's gonna win basically yeah. instead of just working as a team and not thinking about that you know if we get divorced what's gonna be mine what's gonna be yours and i think a lot of people go into marriages feeling like that you know what i honestly think it is i think for men from what i've just observed that men think when they marry a woman that they supposed to submit be like their slave almost in a sense cook clean and go and to work some women and think do... that way too yes I, I, some women, I yes. women I, I know but where they feel like they need to be and... housewives yeah. and all this other stuff but at the same time men are also saying you need we need to go 50 50 in this society you can't have one income but the, a lot of these men that say go 50 50 they're not going 50 50 on a cleaning they're not going 50 50 on a child care they're not going 50 50 on you know basic necessities of keeping the house running they want the women to take care of all of that they want to be able to go to work come home not do nothing get a plate served to them first get the biggest piece of chicken and all this other shit while the woman is literally doing the exact same thing you're doing but on top of that more work and those are some small-minded uh men small-minded people I'm like, like I feel it's a partnership jay literally all do said it. that he said that there's no gender roles in his household and there shouldn't be and he said him and beyonce are equal beyonce bringing money he bringing money he he'll do the dishes he'll cook that's how it's supposed yeah, to that's, be that's, 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 that's it. how it's supposed and to that's be that's coming from a a, a, a a billionaire yeah a resigned thug no. um, what did beyonce say of course shit go down when it's a billion dollars on the elevator yeah mm -hmm. so and then that tie, like ties into what you were saying, how you feel like you should not step outside your marriage. Yep. Well, there's a rumor going on that Aisha Curry and Steph Curry actually have flings outside of their marriages. Well, their marriage. No, no, but it's true. It's uh, a lot of rumors have some f facts to it because where did it stem from? I'm pretty sure a friend probably didn't went to a, a blog and said, hey, this is going on. Da, da, da. And it wouldn't surprise me because Aisha has also changed. She's a little more sexy now, whereas before she was uh, very reserved and she felt like her body wasn't where she wanted to be. Uh, she was on a little thicker side. Now she's slimmer. She's more out there than she was before. So she may be having a little thing on the side, making her feel a little more confident. <laughs> I don't know. What do you is, that, is that something that helps in marriage? I don't see the point of being married if you need to have a fling. But I will I say this. When it comes to Aisha Curry, because I feel like Aisha gets a lot of unnecessary hate. Kind of like Jada That's because Pinkett. the way she stepped on the scene, judging every damn body. If you a well, woman, you shouldn't yeah, be dressed I'll like that. You that. shouldn't I'll show give your you that. And, and now she doing and it. She do I'll give you that. I'll give That's you that. That's why people... But, no, but it's not from those people, though. The people that, oh, look at her out here trying to be a thought. While uh, uh, you were talking about women that you thought looked like thoughts. It's not and those people that are upset jealousy. now. Yeah, it, it, envy. Mm -hmm. Jealousy and envy. But uh, it's not those people that are upset with her. It's the co complete opposite end. The, the pe men that were, oh, we need a wife like Aisha that's going to be like this, that's going to be like that, and reserved mm -hmm. and stuff. The moment she was like, oh, uh, she had made a post about it. It's nice to know, basically, that men are attracted like when she had confessed that that she felt ugly because men didn't think she was attractive and they're like she a whole ass wife why is she trying to get attraction from other men it's like it, it's not that it's like when you're in a relationship and i never been married uh i don't i'm not in a committed relationship or anything like that but i get what she was saying as far as like even though i've been this in a relationship for this many, i still got it like i've seen like comedy shows where like I go to the bar, all the girls is liking me or all the men is liking me, I still got it. Like, mom, I've seen my mom when she uh, was committed. No, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. Mom is was committed to her husband. My mom was committed to my dad. When she was married and pe we were going to the store and people would think she my sister 
We I, men my age were hitting on my mom, and when she she like I'm married, I'm married, I got five kids, and I'm married, and they were like oh my god, but she I, I'm sure she was was flattered that guys thought she was cute, but she wasn't like I think Aisha wanted that, that she wanted men to still think she was pretty even though she was a wife and kids. About. Steph Curry, the, Steph Curry the basketball player, the light skinned dude with the short brown hair. Him and his wife look like siblings. Yeah, the him and his wife look alike. <laughs> but I, I, let's just move on. But let's anyways, oh. <laughs> but but all, all, the only reason why I had brought that up is because I felt like that's what Aisha wanted, and people ragged on her like people like dragged her through the ringer and i feel like what they're doing with them now which is nobody's business is the same thing that did with will smith and jada pinkett Mm -hmm. they always said they had an open relationship people not them people saying that they had an open relationship that's basically what they're doing to steph curry and aisha it's the same thing they did with to will and jada and now that will and jada have finally opened up about the relationship people are shut the fuck up we're tired of hearing about you but y'all speculated about their relationship for years and they finally opened up about it and now y'all don't want to hear it after y'all made up your own ideas about the relationship in your own head yeah, so people let it go until uh, August Alcina came out to my he messed with Jada. Was not by even checking for Will and Jada for Well, a while. August did that. Yeah, August that's what I'm did saying. That. I'm saying like people literally just let it go. But that was clearly something that was okay between Will and Jada mm-hmm. and everybody now else. Now Will Smith the one crying to Oprah and shit, whoever he was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> about it, but they allowed it. Why yeah, cry about something yeah. that you allowed to happen? Yeah. All they did, because he was on the red table talking and everything. Yeah. I think he was embarrassed. Will Smith, he, more so than not that I don't even know if Will happened. Smith was embarrassed, because Will Smith admitted to doing a lot of dirt. And that's another thing about, that's another thing about women being shamed. People hate Jada Pinkett saying she did all of this and this and that to Will. When Will openly admitted that he's been out here having sex so much that he was throwing up. He said that. He was having sex with so many women, he was throwing up and getting mm. sick. He said that. Yeah, you throwing up. You sex would be the last thing on your mm. mind. And, and people are mad at Jada. When he was out here living his life too, you mad at Jada? Mama gotta have a life too. That's too, too That's much. That's weird for me. to me. The men could cheat, but but the, the women, women are shamed. They better not. They shame. I don't give a damn what they do. And then in cases like that, that's more cause for divorce. More but if they together. like it, who are we to say? That's wrong. They clearly don't like it. They on TV crying and, and bouncing but, damn near uh, me divorced. So but then, man, that ain't but they up it. there crying. And then the next day they on the beach together in a fucking selfie. And they want a boat that together. All, that together. all be publicity stunts. They kids but why, they can easy, if they're not happy, they can easily leave they, each other. Just like Megan Good, good and her husband. husband. Yeah. They can easily leave but each that's other. That's what I'm and saying. I love me I Jada and Will. I know. Jay, you know who Jada wants to like and Pac? I like their kids. Uh, Jada wanted Pac. That's what she really wanted. Ooh. What? She you know, know what? Oh, no, she really me. wanted Pac, uh, but like it can't hurt me because I could have never had She said, she said, ooh, Pac's so better, boys, the way he talks. So better her than me because I could never But you know what's him. so funny is the video of, speaking of that, is the video of Tupac and Jada when they were younger. Dancing on Will Smith's song. They were doing the karaoke. Man, just don't understand. And she auditioned for Press Prince and they did not get along. I know. Yeah, they like and everybody, Rebecca Fox and Clemon Tifa, who her said yes. uh, girlfriend. Been on the show. Yeah, and everybody. she didn't make it. Yeah. Gina, well, this, this Sheena was on there. Everybody. Yeah, except for her. All right. Um, I think we went through all of our Except for Nene. Oh, oh, Nene. Yeah. Okay. So, Nene Leaks. I thought she was over the relationship. Uh, Nene. That one. <laughs> that one. I get t- hey, I can only talk about relationships for a minute. <laughs> So, Nene Leakes from uh, Royal Housewives of Atlanta. Her husband passed away September 1st of this year, 2021, from colon cancer. Um, she said about a, a month ago that Greg told her that she he wanted her to be happy and move on with her life. Well, she got a zaddy and a baby. She dating this, this older gentleman, this this boy, I might as well be an infant. <laughs> and, um, but she's been like... Posting the older gentleman. I don't think anybody would know his his name, but yeah, it, they. It, 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 I can't remember, but I seen his name a few times. Um, she's been posting him on her social media, and apparently this 
Young man is yeah. offended. Yeah, he's offended. So he blasted her and is posting a picture of her and him in his bed and saying how he, if he hit it once, you still part of the collection. <laughs> Yeah, and it's time I wish she will. Nidhi's not bothered by it. She, she posted more videos. Woman. She posted more single, videos single. today of her and the, the older guy. And yep. matter of fact, the older gentleman looks way better than the, the yeah, young one. The younger one kind of looked like. Uh, um, never mind. Let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we know? No, no. Uh, I was just going to say something that say was it. unnecessarily yeah. offensive. But, um, <laughs> number one, why couldn't he just hit her up and be like, hey, like, are we done? I, I need to know what's going on. I'm so like I'm blindsided, but of course nowadays social media, everybody wants yeah, to put everybody everybody in like business. See it and want to put yeah. their input. Um, but I think it's a better way to handle it. We don't care. Needy don't care. Like he, move on, bro. And like he's gonna be on the next he thought he was season gonna of Keep him some Needy. <laughs> Lisa, yeah. Needy least moved on to somebody her own age. She probably felt closer. To the older gentleman. Well, she probably when, has more in what, common with the That's older what I was going to say. Because she, when she was dating the younger guy first, probably, she probably was just sad and missing Greg. You know, because yeah. your first flings People just be like uh, rebounds. Rebounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she, I mean, he just passed December 1st. It's only but December that, but, 25th. There's a lot I could she say. She could have been working he, on it before then. Yeah. There's a lot I could say about how for a Nene had been acting because there was times where I felt like Nene was being very selfish when Greg was alive when mm -hmm. they were on the Housewives and like she was irritated with him needing help. Her she husband. made his illness something that he was battling yes. her problem. Her problem. Well, she should have been yeah. the support system. Yes. The I. That bothered me. Like I'm so stressed out because he's he's dying. Like, yeah, why like, he, you like and you're mad because he's dying. Yeah. It's, it's How like you think you're, he you're mad at him that, because he's dying. Like and it she wanted a sense. lot of a lot of sympathy from everybody else because for Greg her, for her. Yeah. But she wasn't giving like, the same grace. How do you think he feels? He's about to lose his life. Yeah, and, and all he did was express how much he loved her to her mm -hmm. all the time. I thought Greg was a great guy. I thought he was a great husband for Nene. I'm really sad that he passed away. Yeah. Because he was a great guy. And Nene was, like, it reminded me of somebody. And they were married and like had it. got divorced and then got remarried. Remarried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she has the right yeah. to live her life. Greg is gone. And she has the right to live her life. She, mm -hmm. And she's not, she's single, single. None of y'all put a ring on her finger. She's not married anymore. She can do what the fuck she want to do. Period. Yeah. All right. I think, okay, that was our last story, I believe, right? I think so. Yeah. Any final thoughts, anyone? I have nothing else to say. I said I pretty know. much what I wanted All to say. All those who passed, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And yeah. we'll see you on the new year. Happy holidays. And I do want to know what do Christmas really mean in y'all opinion? Who 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 is Christmas about? Santa, baby Jesus. We out. See you next week. <laughs>